informed if I allowed a total capsulectomy and implant removal of the intact saline implant. What's so interesting about this case was that she had an initial breast augmentation in 2004 and experienced severe right-sided capsular contracture. And at that point, they went in and there was a lot of abnormal fluid. It was cultured. Nothing ever came back positive. She had implants put back in saline implants. And once again, she is experiencing severe capsular contracture. So we went ahead and performed bilateral total capsulectomy. As you can see, this right-sided implant is much more bulgy because the capsule is so much thicker and it's contracting around that implant. So that's what's making this harder, but also more bulgy. And then you can see that fluid. We, I once again went into that fluid. So already the cultures for bacterial, fungal uh, have been sent. And this will be also be sent for uh, ALCL. I'm gonna open this, but I don't think this is gonna be ALCL only because these are smooth implants and there have never been a case of ALCL associated with smooth implants. So you can see all the staining that's occurred and you can see on the capsule all that thick inflamed tissue and that's where that fluid came from. My guess is that this is probably gonna be what we call sterile empyema where it's probably some sort of an infection we probably aren't going to see any type of bacteria actually growing, but she'll be treated with uh, antibiotics. Now, this is the other side. Uh, I'm not expecting, uh, you know, any fluid or any kind of abnormality, so this will serve as a baseline for what this should have looked like on the right side. And so there's the implant, exactly the same implant. You can see the difference in the color, and you can see how thin that capsule is, uh, normal capsule. And this is the angry, thick inside. Again, this will be submitted for not only the CD34 screening test, but it will actually have the full flow cytometry, which will definitively rule out ALCL. But again, this is a smooth implant, so there's never been a case of ALCL associated with smooth implants. You can see the normal side. It's nice and clear. Uh, there's nothing in it. And the right side has this yellow material. And initially I thought it was just on the outside, but this implant's already been washed with soap and water. And what you're seeing is that's actually just floating inside. So it's not clear how that got in there. This is probably the third case I've seen where the fluid itself is not clear like this one. That's third case in 25 years. So it's not a common thing, but in rare, rare instances, there is that contamination of the fluid but clearly this implant is abnormal and the material had been cultured earlier, so we'll find out what that is.